Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a very festive episode of Ted's Booze Cellar with me, your most gracious host, Ted. Uh, now this is going to be the final episode of this show for the year of 2022. Obviously I'm going to keep doing the show in 2023, but um, as I've been working very hard the last couple of months, uh, as you can tell by my baggy and grey eyes, and you know... <clears throat> as I'm a little bit under the weather at the moment as well, I thought it'd be best if I give myself at least a bit of a rest for like a week or two. So uh, that's why this is going to be the last episode of season um, three of Ted's Boo Cellar and the last episode of 2022. So um, it's been an absolute pleasure this year uh, chatting into this camera and telling you guys about all good kinds of alcohol, all good and bad and all different sorts of types. And I thought I'd sign off this year with something a bit more festive as I did last year. Now, I think last year was... Uh, when I reviewed the for the Christmas episode last year, I think it was when I reviewed the Harvey's uh, barley wine, their Christmas barley wine. It was an interesting experience. I thought I'd go back to the well of like Christmas uh, wine type drinks. Um, and so today we're going to be taking a look at um, let's see, uh, yeah, this is Sainsbury's ginger wine, a very classic old uh, uh, Christmas er uh, you know period kind of drink. Um, this one's made with like imported grape juice, uh, and it says traditionally produced in Britain and flavoured flavored with fiery ginger uh, by Sainsbury's. Our expert winemakers travel the world selecting only the best for you. Um, it says on the back here, our winemakers have blended this warming and spicy ginger wine to give caramelised citrus aromas and fiery ginger notes, served with ginger ale or lemonade over ice for a refreshing long drink. Okay, so it kind of sounds like it's kind of somewhere in between like a spirit and a wine uh, that's meant to be mixed with certain things. Kind of not too dissimilar in a, in a kind of sense to how um, port was originally consumed. Port, back in like the Victorian era, was kind of seen as like um, actually a bit of a cocktail mixer to mix with like particularly gin, but also a little bit sometimes with vodka as well. So um, I'm wondering if it's somewhere along those lines, but um, we're going to drink it on its own today for today's episode to get the full experience, and uh, I've chilled it in the fridge. Now this is 13.5% uh, alcohol volume, it's 70 centilitres, and in terms of like, the actual volume of the alcohol and also the like, liquid content, on Sainsbury's, uh, on their groceries delivery website, it's only £3.75. Now for 70 centilitres of like decent strength alcohol like this, that's a pretty good deal. That's a really solid deal for like a bottle of like this, like of like vodka. That would be like probably like looking of upwards of sixteen quid. So pretty good stuff, I'd say, in terms of value for money. Um, I will say the design of the bottle and the label is a bit simplistic, but I do like the mixture of colours. They invoke uh, or invoke, sorry, I should say, a kind of um, sort of like a, a very festive sort of. Feeling it doesn't feel like necessarily Christmassy, but it just feels very wintry and warming and festive. Um, so I'll give it a solid like um, seven and a half out of ten. It's not the most striking bottle in the world, but it's nice enough. Anyway, we'll pour it into a glass first. And uh, okay, the same. It's got a good hue to it. Kind of almost looks a little bit like a cross between a sherry wine and a whiskey, almost. Oh. Oh, that's not a great nose. Oh, that's that smells pretty bad. You um, see, there's this initial onrush of like ginger, um, and then this really weird perfumey after smell that I do not like at all. Um, that is not a good nose. Oh, that it does not smell great. It smells honestly like a little bit like ginger infused nail varnish. So, oh dear, that that's the. Ugh. That's not a good first impression. I'm going to give the nose, honestly. I was going to give the nose like a, a below average, but still somewhat respectable four and a half or four out of ten, but I, I might actually have to give it a three. That is pretty bad uh, in terms of smell. It's not unbearable. It's just not nice. But uh, anyway, before we taste uh, this uh, little number, we'll have a quick palate cleanser of water. And on to the most exciting and most important part of the episode and the year. For the last time in Ted's Boussola Season 3, um, and for the last time until 2023, let's see what this sucker tastes like. And to everyone at home, have a great weekend, Hanukkah and Christmas ahead, and bottoms up.
Man, that sucks. It's not as bad as the smell implied, but man, that is pretty. Meh. Actually, oh no! The more I drink of it, the worse it gets. Actually, no. Well, there's this initial onrush of like ginger, but it's like, but it's like really kind of weak, and then it kind of overpowers all of your senses. Like it starts off really weak, and then gets really strong towards the back of your throat. Um, and then there's this like through line of this almost like varnishy kind of taste throughout the through line, and then it's got this weird undertone of just like kind of like fake caramelized like citrus rind that doesn't really sit well. It should, but it doesn't, and it's just like it's all of like a bunch of flavors that should mix together well, um, but in this case they're all done badly and they mix together really poorly. So. God, that is really disappointing. Mm. To be fair, what the hell was I expecting for three pounds seventy-five for seventeen centiliters? Like, you know what I mean? Like, good lord, that is oh nasty. What the fuck am I still drinking this? Good god! Anyway, um, yeah, that was pretty bad. Um, again, I was going to be somewhat charitable and give it a four out of ten, but. The more you drink of it, the really, honestly, the worse it gets. Like, this is something I think you would have to mix with, like, not just, like, soft drinks, like ginger ale and, um, like, elderflower tonic and, you know, maybe, if you're my mate Philip, dandelion and burdock. Um, but um, you'd probably also have to mix it with, like, vodka and gin just to get, like, the nasty taste away. But, God, that is disappointing. Uh, yeah, three out of ten. Really, really poor. Not the worst um, drink of this kind of type that I've ever had, but still pretty bad like that is ooh, that might be down there as like one of the worst uh, wines we've ever reviewed on the show if not the worst i can't remember if i've ever reviewed a wine that's worse than this one on the show before because usually the wines i've reviewed before have been all right at least but this is pretty bad so yeah three out of ten good god that is pretty awful but um anyway if you guys like this video leave a like share and subscribe if you have any suggestions for future episodes of ted's boozilla let me know in the comment section down below if you want to check out my other social medias, I'll leave the links to those in the video description below. And as always, have fun, stay safe, whatever you're doing, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Wash your hands, drink responsibly, know your limits. And until 2023, I'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Booster. Happy holidays. Dear God, that was rubbish.